Welcome to the Smith House. You know, this day is about giving thanks, and I'll tell you what I'm thankful for. Having family I get to spend each Thanksgiving with. I'm glad that when my dad walked into that nightclub in Santa Fe, eyes damaged by the New Mexican sun, he bedded your Cherokee mother, having mistaken her for a person. I love you, bro. You're my Thanksgiving miracle. Thanksgiving miracle? You're thinking of Christmas miracle. Oh, no, Haley. Me think em you forgot em the story of the Thanksgiving miracle. It all started at a place called Pontiac Rock. Well, the pilgrims arrived and they didn't know what to do. The land was all undeveloped because the Indians hadn't done any work. It was all weeds, no sprinklers, nothing. Just nothing. They couldn't get anything to grow or even make shelter before the harsh winter came. In the pilgrims' darkest hour, when all was lost, along came Squanto. The following autumn, the pilgrims invited the Indians to a feast to thank them for all their kindness. The feast was the perfect opportunity for the pilgrims to try out their new exploding corn. Our forefathers took their land, and it was good. And now, how about a champagne toast? To the Smiths. They gave me their old curtains. I'd like to make a toast. Yes, a toast. To Jeff's fruit punch that I added drain cleaner to. And to Lionel Richie, who put a blind woman in his video. This may not be the best Thanksgiving dinner we've ever had. Worst. <laughs> but I'm so happy to be here. Through losing everything, I realized how much I took for granted. Including my daughter, who I was ready to disown. Haley, you are officially undead to me. I want you and Jeff to move in with us. Stan? Rusty, you're here. I owe you a huge apology. We're brothers and I told you to get off my land. What? This is still your land? How much land did you get? So, whoa, 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 much. Hey, guys, I found you. <laughs> All right, Klaus, we're the pilgrims and Francine's parents are the Indians. If we want to save this Thanksgiving, we've got to get them out of this house. Okay, first you're calling yourself a pilgrim, but you're dressed like an Indian. It's very confusing. Second, didn't the pilgrims invite the Indians to dinner? Klaus, you're missing the point. It might not have even happened. It's just a story that teaches us to treat each other nicely. And we've got to get these stupid idiots out of our house. I see. And how do you plan to do that? Why, exploit their fears, of course. And throughout time, what has consistently been the Chinese people's greatest enemy? Godzilla Japanese. Ooh, I'm the ghost of Genghis Khan. I just got through your great wall, and I'm going to plunder your culture. Actually, not all Chinese people think of Genghis Khan as scary. Many Chinese view him as great military leader who laid down groundwork for the Third New Dynasty. Francine, I bought a horse. Ferocious panda on the loose! Run! Run for your lives! It's got a gun! I don't know why you guys are terrified of these things. We're not. We love them. I knew it was one of the two. Francine, I bought a panda. Marvin, Laura, various other hicks. That was the best Thanksgiving dinner I've ever had. <gasps> Who's this guy? Exactly. Who am I? Who am I to you? Me, a Redskins fan. You all cowboy fans. seen my kid? Woo! We couldn't be more opposite on this day. But you welcomed me into your parking space and taught me how to survive. Of course we did, Stan. Because where we come from, Thanksgiving's about sharing diverse cultures. No matter who you are or how much your team sucks. Or how Chinese you are. Woo! Seriously, I'm going to be in real trouble if I can't find him. Woo-hoo!